Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for October 21st. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, October 21st, 1911, William A. Mitchell was born. He was the food scientist who invented Pop Rocks candy, Cool Whip, the orange drink mix Tang, and Quick Set Jello Gelatin. Also, on this day in 1914, Samuel W. Alderson was born. He was a physicist and engineer who invented the crash test dummy used to test the safety of cars, parachutes, and other devices. In 1968, he produced a dummy called the VIP, built specifically for automotive testing with built-in instruments for collecting data. It had movable joints and is built to look like an average adult man. And on this day in 1950, Ronald E. McNair was born. He was a physicist and astronaut who was the second African-American to fly in space. He was assigned as a mission specialist in the 1984 flight of the shuttle Challenger and orbited Earth 122 times. Now, sadly, on his second trip in 1986, McNair, along with six other crew members, died in an explosion shortly after the launching of the Challenger. Today on Word Power, we're going to explore a word that knows no bounds. Today's word is infinity. Infinity is something with unlimited capacity. If you had an infinite amount of energy, you would never have to sleep. I think the best example of infinity is outer space. If you could get into a spaceship and fly through our solar system and out of our galaxy, you'd never come to the end of space. Wow, now that makes me feel like there are infinite possibilities for what could be out there. Do you think there are kids on some distant planet? I wonder if they like words as much as I do. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what was the biggest volcanic eruption in the history of the planet? The answer is the Yellowstone Caldera, or supervolcano, which is actually a volcanically active region. It's located in Yellowstone National Park, which spans parts of Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Over the past two million years, this volcano has produced three eruptions that were up to 2,500 times the size and force of the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption. In the most recent eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, which occurred 640,000 years ago, it sent ash all the way across the North American continent. Health tips. When you look in the mirror and smile, you'll see your nice white teeth. However, you can't see the plaque. That's because plaque is a clear film that coats your teeth, but it's very sticky. Plaque traps germs and tiny bits of food. The germs use these food bits to make an acid. This acid eats away at your tooth and after a while can cause a cavity. Plaque can also cause gum disease and bad breath. To get rid of plaque, you need to brush and floss every day. Brushing removes plaque from the large areas of your teeth and from just under the gums. Flossing removes plaque from between your teeth. I dive Every animal on the planet needs five things to survive. Clean water, air, food, shelter, and space. Now, people are animals too, and the more people there are on the planet, the more demand there is for the Earth's clean water, air, food, shelter, and space. Our global population is increasing every day. In fact, we're adding 82 million people every year. Right now, there are about 6.3 billion people on the planet, and some experts believe that by 2050, that number will have increased to 9 billion. If we want enough for everyone, it is important to conserve and protect our natural resources. We want future generations of boys and girls to have a chance for a happy life, too. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. 
thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>